The globe is stabilized with the ring. Now, typically, my incision is posterior limbal. The incision is based at the conjunctival insertion or 0.5 mm posterior to it. To avoid conjunctival ballooning, I prefer to make a perpendicular partial thickness incision which is slightly bigger than the intended phaco incision. Example, 3 mm groove for a 2.8 mm incision. The 2.8 mm bevel up keratome is being placed in the groove first and the blade is now moved up and forward so that we create an intracornial tunnel of 2 mm and then the direction of the blade turns just a bit so that the blade now becomes parallel to the surface of the iris. Then it perforates the desmets membrane. Now this is the configuration of the wound which we have and the inner lip is a nice straight line. So this is the first vertical plane that is the initial partial thickness groove. Then this is the second plane as the blade traverses intracornially and obliquely giving us the intracornial tunnel. And finally there is a change in the plane, the third plane as the blade changes direction before entering the antechamber.